Hi guys, in this video I'm just going to show you a quick and easy way to get perspective lines in Photoshop just to make it a little bit easier when you're drawing in perspective. So I've opened a new canvas in Photoshop and I'm just going to draw a horizon line in the centre of the screen or at least roughly the centre and I'll do this on a new layer in fact. So down this left hand panel of Photoshop we're going to come to this tool here and we're going to find the polygon tool. For me it's the polygon tool for you, you might have to right click it and it could be any of these other tools on here, so rectangle tool, custom shape, line tool, etc. So make sure you change it to the polygon tool. And then we just need to tweak some settings at the top here. They might be slightly different if you are using a different version of Photoshop, but you should still have similar options. So I'm going to change this first one to pixels if it's not already on it. I'm going to keep the mode as normal. And I'm going to click this drop down here next to the cog icon. And all I'm going to do is tick star. You can see I've already got the presets in from me doing this earlier, but in the indent side by in the indent sides by section, change that to 99. And when you click off that, change the amount of sides to 100. You can probably play around with some of these settings if you want to. Okay, so at this point our tool is actually ready to use, and it's simply a case of just clicking and dragging on the screen. So for example, if you were doing one point perspective, you could click in the center of the screen and just drag that out. When you let go, it will leave the lines on there like that. That's why I've done this on its own layer. So you can use this as a grid in the background. So in the background, I'm just very quickly using it for one point perspective to give you an example. It's super rough the way I'm doing it because I'm doing it really quick. But I wanted to show it more just as an example to show how you can use it for one point perspective. So for using it for two point perspective, it's just a case of having two vanishing points, which is where we start our click and drag from. That's the vanishing point in this case. In general, you can't always see both the vanishing points on screen at the same time. So I'm going to zoom out and show you that you can still do it this way. I'm going to click the crop tool and I'm going to extend this out a little bit. I'm just extending the horizon line for this example. I'll change the vanishing point to blue for this example. So I'm clicking and I'm dragging. If you hold down shift, it will keep one of the lines on the horizon line, which will make things a little bit more accurate. So let's have one there and one there. So once we have those in place, we can crop the image back down unless you want to adjust those later on. And then using these horizon lines, I can then draw in, for example, let's say it was a building or something in Photoshop. Again, I'm doing this really quickly and not very accurately. But you can see how to use the lines for two-point perspective. You could argue this would actually be easier if I hadn't have cropped the image back down. If I'm not exactly on a line to follow that line, it would have been easier to know where the vanishing point was to click. So something to bear in mind. And just a quick tip for those who are unaware how to get straight lines in Photoshop, you just click where you want the line to start with your brush tool, hold down shift and click again and again keep doing that. And that is the easiest way to get straight lines. Or if you want a horizontal or vertical line, you can hold down shift on your keyboard and then start drawing like so. So anyway guys, this was a tutorial on how to get a perspective grid nice and easy, not a video on actually learning perspective. But I hope you found the video useful. If you have any other suggestions of videos you guys want to see in the future, please do let me know in the comments below. And as always, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more content. Thanks everyone.